Hey guys, Atsu here, and this is going to be a very, very basic first look at Tignari as well as some of the Dendro reactions in patch 3.0 of Sumeru Genshin Impact. I'm on the media server right now, so everything you see here is not my account. It's not the beta either, but I don't get to keep any of this stuff. It's just the way Hoyoverse allows some content creators to record early for you guys, so we can drop that information as soon as possible when the patch goes live. So, Tignari, at first, I did not expect anything much and maybe a bit of a support character is what I thought but after looking at the constellations after playing around with Tignari it's very evident that this character is meant to be your DPS character whether it's a main DPS or rotational DPS is really up to your playstyle but for the more casual players out there this is definitely going to be a character that's going to be putting out some of your damage I wouldn't say anything crazy right now because if you take a look at this for example this is talent level 666 right now and essentially what you do is you drop the elemental skill and you go pew 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 three times because this charge shot here as you can see there's one charge and then there's two charges right so that by itself is very slow however if you drop the elemental skill you can fire three of these off very quickly for the very special charge shot and when those land you'll see like a bunch of cluster seeds come out and go pew like that and i've made a fatal error because i have just killed my test dummy by mistake which was not meant to happen so we are going to go find another test dummy and i will showcase to you guys how to build tignari how to play tignari and talk about some of the dendro reactions itself so i'll see you in a moment Alrighty, we're back and we have a new test dummy i had to clear out the other hilly trails in the area so i apologize to those hilly trails but as you can see we are on tignari right now so with his charge shot he has one charge and then he has two charges. So he has, oh, oh, you see me, okay. Anyway, there's two different levels to those charges. The first one is simply just a very, very basic dendro shot. The second one, if you charge it to level two, is the same dendro shot, but then it explodes into a bunch of cluster seeds. Now, that guy is about to clap those cheeks, so I'm about to teleport away so he doesn't do that. And let's, now that he's calmed down, teleport back here. So. The important thing to note, guys, is as you saw there, the damage at the moment wasn't looking very good on Tegnari. If you look at the stats here, we have got 1,506 attack, 390 elemental mass, we have 76.7% crit rate, 171.3% crit damage, and 87.4% dendro damage bonus. The weapon is going to be Hunter's Path at Refinement Rank 1, which is going to be Tignari's signature weapon. By the way, I know I am pronouncing his name incorrectly, and I do apologize. This is the set we're going for at the moment as well, which is the Wondrous Troop. Wondrous Troop is not the best set in the game for Tignari right now. I would say it's either Gilded Dreams or Deepwood Memories. Both of these sets are good on him. However, farming for this set has been one of the greatest nightmares and even foddering these sets because I gave up into Wondrous Troop was very, very painful for me to do. I spent around 2,000, 3,000 resin on trying to get a Dendro Damage Goblet for Tignari and eventually I had to give up and settle for this absolute piece of garbage but it is what it is. Wondrous Troop by no means is bad on Tignari as well because he is a charge shot character that also scales off elemental mastery. So this is actually a pretty solid set on him. Constellations wise is going to be a Constellation Zero version. All of his constellations, if we look at them, essentially just increases damage or his ability to crit. The first one gives you 15% crit rate, meaning you can probably substitute if you already have too much crit for more crit damage which is nice or attack percent or even elemental mastery very very nice this will give you more dendro damage bonus constellation 3 is level ups which give you more damage constellation 4 gives you more elemental mastery and the thing with tignari is that he has partial damage scaling from elemental mastery so the more elemental mastery you have the more damage his charge shots will actually do and then the last one gives you bonus damage for his super charge shot now i can technically unlock all of these constellations now but i rather show you guys what he's like at constellation zero before he gets giga buffed to c6 i'm sure at c6 he probably hits for a lot of damage but we will have to wait and see. So we've got the level two. Let me hide my camera again. You've got the two different levels of charging for his normal attack. And then his elemental skill, which is very, very nice because it's a very pretty large taunting area. What happens is it's going to deal AOE dendro damage. And you're going to leave like this gas 
you know what? Let me just show you guys. It's going to leave like a gas on the screen or in that specific area. And what happens with that gas? It doesn't actually do damage over time. It will apply Dendro once. And then this guy is just going to get distracted by this fog, this gas, and keep attacking it. And it's going to last there for quite a reasonable amount of time, which is going to be very nice. And the reason why there's a taunt is, of course, because Tignari is a bow character. And when you're a bow character, unless you're playing with a shield, you're going to want to taunt. Otherwise, when those enemies jump on you, you're going to get destroyed. And it's not very, very enjoyable gameplay. So you should be looking to go for a shield or utilizing that taunt properly. Elemental Burst is going to be combining the power of all seeds to fire six Tangle Vine Shafts that can track opponents and deal Dendro damage. So this is going to have two layers of Dendro damage. After the first instance of Dendro damage hits, the second will spawn Tangle Vine Shafts which will create a secondary wave of more Tangle Vine Shafts that can also track opponents and deal Dendro damage on here as well. And this has a bit of AoE so it can hit multiple enemies as well but it is going to be a little bit of RNG whether or not it actually hits the enemies you want to hit. So there we go. Let me show you the burst. The burst animation is so pretty. It's so pretty, but as you can see there, there's lots of different instances of the elemental burst popping off there. Now, as you can see, we just popped that, and all, already Tignari is almost back to full energy recharge, which is really, really nice, and it's not like I have an energy recharge build on Tignari either. 114 or 115% essentially energy recharge is not a lot. Now, when it comes to damage, we like damage. And we want our characters to do damage. We have a new set of reactions in the game for Dendro. Now these reactions are going to be, because I always forget their names. First of all, you're going to have something called Catalyze. When creatures are affected by Electro or Dendro, or Electro and Dendro rather, Quicken will occur which will render them Quicken. Now when the enemy is quickened, when they take any hit of Electro or Dendro, the aggravate or spread reactions will occur, causing them to take additional damage. So that might sound a little bit confusing. What that means is essentially if you do, so let me show you this right now. Let me put the Zongli shield on. We'll throw this. Boom. So as you can see here, 5.6k damage, 7.8k damage. And then he's jumped all the way here, 9.1k, because he got close to the Zongli shield, so I reduced his defenses a little bit, or his resistances. So you saw there, 5k, 7k, 9k damage. Now, if we do the equivalent of Melt or Vaporize, but it's Dendro and Electro instead, let's see how much damage happens. And for this, Raiden Shogun is really, really nice to make this very, very, very simple. So if we do this, there's the first one. The Quicken Reaction has landed. And there we go, 24k damage. 24k down. That's right, guys. It went from 7k to 24k. Or it went from 9k to 24k. Almost tripling the damage there. And the reason why that happened to that extent is because I'm currently running an Elemental Mastery build for the Tignari with an Elemental Mastery timepiece. We have 21.8% crit damage here. And if I was to switch to an attack percent timepiece, I would want more crit damage and no Elemental Mastery or some crit damage around 21.8%. And however much Elemental Mastery is the equivalent of 14% attack here. I know what I'm saying here is very, very, very confusing. So I'll go with the 37.3% crit damage one. So if the damage here is lower, then you know for sure that the reaction damage is definitely better with the Elemental Mastery build. So let's go Raiden Shogun. We'll drop that here. We'll do that again. Boom. Okay. And then boom. And as you can see, it's only 18k. Let's wait for him to jump on me here. Okay. 20k. Oh, don't die. Don't die. Please don't die. So as you can see, the Elemental Mastery definitely came out on top there. So if you are going for the reaction damage, then you want Elemental Mastery. It's the same thing with Melt and Vaporize, for example, Diluc. You actually want an Elemental Mastery timepiece if you are going to go for Melt or Vaporize combinations. And likewise for Tignari and even like Yaimiko, for example, if you want Yaimiko because the Electro damage is also buffed with Dendro when you combine them together. If you want that reaction damage to do more, you should actually go for an Elemental Mastery timepiece. Having said all of that, having said all of that, farming for Elemental Mastery, guys, is not fun. It is not fun whatsoever it is an absolute pain in the backside so it goes both ways and it ultimately just depends which one has better substats in my case i'm lucky enough to have artifacts where the substats are good 
regardless of the piece I pick. So I'm fine either way. But for most people, because they're not refilling and they're not spending a crap ton of money on the game to refill, my recommendation is simply to go for what I mentioned earlier, which is whatever has best subsets. As you can see here, 14% attack, 21.8% crit damage. It's a pretty darn good piece. Other reactions I want to show you for Dendro. I know this video is all over the place, but there's just so much in this patch and it feels great because there's so much to grind for. There's so much to work out. The meta is going to change again and it's just, it's just lovely. I love these kind of things when there's so much to do and all of it makes you feel like you're actually making progress. So the first thing we are going to do is I'm going to showcase to you guys what it looks like in an actual team comp to be running Tignari here along with another Electro character or Electro DPS characters because the ideal rotation for me with Tignari is you want to put them with Electro characters that also do damage and you basically just rotate between the two Electro DPSs while camping in a Zhongli shield to be the coward that you are. Most people don't need a Zhongli shield but for me, I can't dodge so I use a Zhongli shield. This is going to be the new Sumeru domain by the way so you're going to see all of these new enemies here as you can see very very nice. Raiden Shogun will make it very easy to apply certain reactions. We'll do this as well and we'll do this and then we'll do this so as you can see the aggravate is coming down as well and then Tignari boom oh I missed so if you miss your shots guys it's not good if you miss your shots. So don't don't miss your shots. We got a 27k there. The reason we're up to 27k is because there's an elemental mastery buff in this domain. So don't don't be don't be too surprised. Well yeah, the damage is pretty good, right? So combined the damage between these two, it's it's nice. And the reason why I say that is because, for example, Yaimiko has not really, you know, unless you have a lot of constellations on her. I'm sure you have seen many of the community say that she doesn't really do that much damage and she's not a very strong character. This all changes with patch 3.0. Yes, she might still not be the strongest character in the game, but she can do a lot more damage now thanks to Dendro. And I'm going to show you guys the pain that I've been dealing with for the last five days or so, trying to farm a freaking set for this very, very, very stinky but wonderful archer. Boom. Well. That's awkward because these are both two very, very good pieces that we've got in here. Huh. Well. Well. That's... <coughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a little bit awkward. I wish I had gotten those pieces a little bit earlier. Right, let's see. This has both elemental mastery and crit rate on it. So it could potentially be the god piece that we're looking for. The question is, is it going to be the god piece that we're looking for? This genuinely looks like it has not been leveled up. It actually looks like it hasn't been leveled up. Well, it had the potential... And it failed miserably. So that's nice. That's nice. If we can get crit damage here. Okay. That is also not great. It's okay. But it's not great. Now if you saw the materials that I have here. And you're like whoa. You can level up any artifact super quickly. That's because again. It's a media server guys. I don't get to keep any of this stuff. I wish I could. But I don't get to keep any of it, which is a huge, huge, huge shame. But it is what it is, and I'm very, very grateful that I get to showcase this stuff early to you guys anyway. So once again, let's do this properly. We'll drop this down here. Boom. Boom. Okay. Boom. 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 I've dropped all three of those now. Remember, after the elemental skill, he has to take a while to charge this back up again, which is... That's, these guys need to stop moving, please. Please, stop moving! Have mercy! Okay, there we go. Very, very, very nice. A lot of area of effect covered there. Right, what are we going to get? Boom. The other thing I forgot to mention, guys, is whenever you do a Dendro and Electro, I believe you drop a Dendro particle. So when you do the Quicken reaction, you drop a particle, which, of course, is very nice because it means you're going to be charging up 
your elemental skills and your rather your elemental burst very quickly. Now the thing is, this means certain characters who are normally energy recharge hungry. Yai Miko, I'm looking at you. Beidou, I'm looking at you. If you are able to get a lot of particles, that's good stuff. And it means you can reduce your energy recharge stat to increase your other offensive stats. Now, if you go for double electro resonance, there's another nice effect here, which many people don't use because a lot of people don't run double electro, but superconduct overloaded electro charge quicken, aggravate, or hyper bloom have a 100% chance to generate an electro elemental particle, which is really, really nice. Now, the Thundering Fury set has also been changed. Sorry, I shouldn't phrase it like it's also been changed because the uh, resonance hasn't been changed. The resonance has, well, I guess the resonance has been changed to include the dendro reactions, but that gives you energy recharge. This will give you cooldown reaction. The change here that they've added here increases damage caused by overloaded, electrocharged, superconduct, and hyperbloom by 40%. And the damage bonus conferred by Aggravate is increased by 20%. When Quicken or the aforementioned elemental reactions are triggered, elemental skill cooldown is decreased by one second and can only occur once every 0.8 seconds. This is so good for characters like Fischl, for Beta, for any characters that are Electro with really high elemental skill cooldowns that want to do more damage with the Dendro. This set is now the go-to. Thundering Fury is actually a fantastic set to have. The other thing is Thunder Soothers is also a decent set to have because when you use Electro and you also, on top of that, use Dendro, what's going to happen is they don't actually remove that aura. They don't remove that element from the enemy, which is really, really, really nice. Right, here we go. We are going to show you guys Hyper Bloom now. So if we get in there, let me just first show you guys how the reactions or the elements don't actually disappear on top of the heads of the enemies, which is really nice. And then I will unleash Tartalia to apply some Hydro and show you guys Hyper Bloom, Electro Charge going all over the place. And I absolutely love this team composition. It's so fun because obviously Chard, as you guys know, I don't really like running Chard and Shangling like the Super Meta teams, but Tartalia, his attack string is one of my favorites. And having another reason to play with him now is superb. So we're going to drop the Electro here. Or drop the Dendro. And as you can see, guys, the Electro and Dendro is still there. It's still there on top of everyone, which is great. So it's very easy to make the reactions happen. Or you can overlap a ton of different reactions, which is super, super, super nice. So I'm going to put this down now instead. Right? We've got the Raiden Electro still popping off. And then if we switch to Tartalia here, you'll start seeing all these seeds on the ground. And you'll also see a reaction called Hyper Bloom. If you can actually see this stuff, it's a little bit hard to see. And I messed up because... Oh, that is such a cool attack from the enemy. I messed up because the Dendro actually expired there. So we do this. And now I don't have Hydro. Boom. Okay. Boom. Okay, so as you can see, that Hyper Bloom seed, this seed here, you can have a maximum of five of these on the ground. I believe it's five. And if you spawn more than five, then the very first one you spawn will explode. So you can actually just spam Dendro and Hydro together over and over and over and over and over again until the Dendro element disappears from the enemy, which is also very, very nice. So we're going to do that properly again because I messed up big time and it didn't look very fancy schmancy. But are we going to get anything good? That's winnable. It has elemental mastery and crit rate. That's not winnable. Oh, it's HP. It might be winnable in the future, but it doesn't matter because this account is going to disappear after the patch goes live. So, right, let's do this again properly. It would actually be better for me to be using the Traveler or Calais because they have Ticking Dendro, whereas Tignari does not have Ticking Dendro. So I can only apply Dendro once here. So we'll do this. We'll do this. We'll do this. And then we'll instantly switch to Tartalia. I did not instantly switch to Tartalia. But as you can see here, there's lots of numbers on here right now. If I do this, we get Bloom Reaction. We get Hyper Bloom there. We got Electro Charge there. We got the whole Fiesta, right? If we switch this, Boom, Quicken, Boom, Quicken Spread, Aggravate. It's just numbers. They're just numbers and reactions everywhere. And I genuinely, genuinely love that we have so many new things added to this game now. Now, with the addition of this, let me say hasta la vista to this guy. 
goodbye. Now, with the addition of these new reactions, it doesn't end there because you can also apply pyro to these seeds that drop on the ground when they bloom and they, they go kaboom. They literally unga bunga and explode. The downside is you have to hit the seeds. Okay, that's actually pretty good. You have to hit the seeds, and if you don't hit the seeds, they won't basically have the special explosion. Let me show you guys. All right, here we go. Boom. So, what's going to happen here is characters like Toma in the future will be great because Toma is a shield character and applies pyro and waves. So Toma will be really, really nice for this. Right, first things first. Let's apply the Dendro. Let's debate them like that. And we've got the Boomerang here. Okay, we've got seeds on the ground. We've got Bloom reactions all over there. Now, to make these seeds explode... Oh, they've already gone. The seeds are gone. That is not good. That is not the start that we wanted. Right, let's do that. We've got some Bloom reactions. Now, if I make this... There you go. You've got Burgeon to make those seeds explode. And if you don't make those seeds explode, they'll just explode by themselves, which is also fine. But, you know, ideally you would like them to explode. Now, if you do this, as you can see, there's a lot of seeds on the ground. And you can consistently force more seeds to keep spawning and exploding. As you can see, a bit of hyper bloom there because this guy has an electro aura. But it's easier if you have a shield character. But if you have a shield character, you either have to sacrifice a dendro character... You'd have to drop one of your other elements, so that's where characters like Toma, characters like Shinobu are going to come in handy because they are shield characters or healing characters which are going to allow you to do these reactions. That's right, they're back from the dead, guys, because a lot of people would say they were trash. Now, they're winnable. Oh, hello! Just like this artifact, I should record and farm this more often because when I don't record and I do this off stream, I get absolutely annihilated. Wait, that could actually be huge. Again, I don't get to keep this artifact. So deep down, it really, really, really hurts because it would be nice if I got to keep this. It's got almost max elemental master. I think max is 24. We just rolled max attack and we have max crit damage. This, if it doesn't go into HP percent, is a god roll dendro damage goblet. And it's a straight up buff for Tignari that we're going to have in the video. Okay, attack percent, that's fine. Attack percent is not bad at all. Contrary to popular belief, it's not as good as crit damage, but it's still very solid. Okay, I know this looks copium, guys. It looks copium, but it's an upgrade. It is a huge, huge upgrade to what I'm currently running, which is this. And this is no bueno because in, in exchange we're gaining 18.7 percent attack and the crit, oh, i guess the crit damage this one's better this one's better however i now have to change my time piece and the question is do i have a better time piece than this and i think i know the answer to that is this is good enough I feel like that's an improvement. I, I feel like that's an improvement. So, we're going to try and do the bludgeon. Was it called bludgeon? I think it was called bludgeon again. This is going to be very difficult. Right. We'll drop this. We'll drop this. We'll drop this. Okay. We've got the blooms. And then... Big, big explosion. Oh, all of those exploded, but I have a feeling they did not stack. And if they don't stack, that's actually not very good. Because all of those exploding at once and not stacking, I don't think is very, very good. But as you can see, I'm getting absolutely destroyed right now. The burning damage, though, look at that. The burning damage, hello. Burning does a lot of ticking damage. I think it's a percent of the enemy's HP. But as you can see, he's burning. He's burning and he's dead. That's the other reaction. So yeah, I'm very excited to see. You know what? Let me just check. You can actually check here. Burning. It doesn't specifically say if it's a percentage of your attack or elemental mastery or of the enemy HP. If it is a percentage of enemy HP, burning is going to be OP. If it isn't, 
then it's not going to be that OP in Spiral Abyss or against enemies with a lot of HP. But in general open world, it's still going to be pretty strong. But yeah, that is it, guys. That is the end of the video. I hope I got everything I wanted to say out of the way. We showed a little bit of Kole. I didn't really explain too much on how to build Tignari properly yet because I don't think I have a place to comment on it, especially when I don't have a full set of any of the new artifact sets. All I can say for sure is, if you want to use Wanderer's Troop, Wanderer's Troop is still fantastic on Tignari. If you want to go for the aggravate damage or the quicken damage sorry if you want to go for the quicken damage then go for an elemental mastery timepiece if you don't have elemental mastery timepieces that's still absolutely a-okay just go for the attack percent timepiece goblet wise dendro damage is ideal if you don't have dendro damage then you can live with attack percent or alternatively elemental mastery as your goblet as well you ideally want to crit damage or crit rate circlet depends on your ratios and everything else is just pretty much bog standard you want to go for crit rate crit damage elemental mastery energy recharge attack percent those kind of things not in that specific order you just want to make sure you have a mix of everything here so yes as you can see these are my stats crit rate 77.1 percent crit damage 179 energy recharge only at 110 the attack is one to like 0.9 there ratio and then we also have 87.4 percent dendro damage bonus i will do another video in the future on my channel going over the constellation showing how strong tingnari is at constellation six same thing with kole everyone's going to get a free version of kole if you participate in the events that are incoming i might do another video on kole as well but as you guys know i'm not the greatest guide maker in the world i just like showing my opinions and first impressions of these characters there are some other fantastic content creators you should check out for more mathematical and more theory crafted more diligent and dedicated guides as well but i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys enjoy watching me actually get good artifacts for once and have a wonderful wonderful day sumeru is here and i cannot wait to explore it on stream because i haven't done so already yet so as you can see i've not unlocked anything i've only looked at this area here but yes i'm very excited i hope you guys enjoy have a wonderful wonderful day bye bye